In 1880, Henry Draper pointed a telescope at the Orion Nebula and exposed a plate for 51 minutes, creating what's commonly accepted as the first image of a nebula. He guided manually, nudging the mount every few seconds. Even a few decades later, you had people like George Ritchie who were guiding six to eight hour exposures at Mount Wilson on their 60 inch reflector, which was by the way, a 40 ton instrument with a 2000 pound mirror floating on a mercury bearing. Now, thanks to gears and slow motion controls, they weren't wrestling all 40 tons, but they were still having to make adjustments every few seconds all night long. They would literally sit at the base of one of these building sized monsters and look through an eyepiece. They would pick a star and try and nudge the telescope to keep the star in the exact same spot the whole time 